Good afternoon tubers. So I thought I'd give you a little bit of a rundown on what I've actually done lately. I haven't done any too many specific updates. I've been releasing a lot on the old socials of what I've been up to but I haven't had enough time or energy to actually produce too many videos and that other big video took a little bit of time to do. So I've moved the PCM60X out of the other shed and then put it up in here. It's not actually hooked up at the moment because I'm using the MPP Solar PIP to do the charging. The drawback to that is we introduce a lot of extra heat into this shed. Now if you have a look here you can actually see little temperature sensors. The little triangles are on the long mons and the triangle is actually at the top of the long mon and the little square is at the bottom of the long mon. So top and the bottom. So you can see the actual heat coming out of the edge of the inverter is sort of warming this sort of side of the shed up and warming those cells up and you can see that's the sort of the top seven there and then the bottom seven is just beside it. We've also um, transferred the shunt from the other shed to here which also allows me to have a temperature sensor because there's a temperature sensor in there and the hot air blows out onto that and gives me an idea of what that actually what that pip is actually doing heat wise. Um, if you look up here we've got an LTEC uh, 48 volt charger. Um, I'll leave the, specific, uh, the specifics down below but basically that one hooks into the, um, the Baytrim uh, Watchmon as well and controls uh, when I want to do a balance charge uh, I can pull directly from the grid in my case it's pulling from my other set of solar panels and not technically from the grid if I do it during the day but that'll actually control the, um, the charge a lot better than this could ever do it or even that and actually smart charge these batteries and balance them off perfectly with the minimal of um, wasted energy I, I, I suppose you'd say um, what else we got? Just got it all that nice and neat and tidy. We've redone all these cables so it looks a little bit neater. Um, taken, there was a whole bunch of extra cables in here and stuff like that. So it is getting better. I've left this cable here just because I don't know whether or not I'm going to leave that PCM60X there or not. Because I've got another 5 kilowatt of panels coming so I do need... Th this is pretty much maxed out for its... Um, you know, it's got three kilowatt panels on it. I know they're about 50 meters away, but we still got three kilowatt panels on it, so we we'll max that on that. And I got another 1.5 kilowatt panels. I'm probably going to put on that, I reckon. But I don't know. Let me know what you think. So can we actually put that many? I don't. I don't know if we can. Can we put that many on that one? Split them up. I wonder if you can join them together. I mean, they're both from the same product. They're both from the same company. Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, moving on. I am preparing to do the 40 kilowatt hour test. Uh, so I'm going to try it a different way. I'm using Screenlapse and that's just a Google tool and it's basically um, based on uh, how I do my time lapses, uh, what do you call it, live feeds. Um, and you can just set it up. So you can capture interval, uh, location, prefix, obviously image quality and file type. I'll only be using JPEG. It doesn't do a video format, so hopefully it uses a little bit less space. Um, and I'm just going to set the capture interval to about one second. So hopefully it makes it a lot easier to edit this next video. 1.1 second. And basically then all you've got to do is hit start. And what are we going to do? Entire screen. And go share. And it's, and it's away. And minimise that down. Hide that. Now I'm just going to let that run for a few hours and just see whether it's going to work. And that way I'm in a better place for the, the, the 40 kilowatt hour test. Now the 40 kilowatt hour test, I'm going to try to do it a little bit faster than 63 hours just because it's really inconvenient <laughs> not to... All the sun we're wasting not charging the batteries kills me. So I'm going to start on a Saturday morning. Now on a Saturday morning is when we do all our washing. We run the dishwasher, we run the dryer. So I'll be pulling a 2000 watt load for... A, a good a good five six hours i reckon i might not be that long but there'll still be a good, a good heavy load on it for a fair a fair amount of time and then it'll back off again to the normal house load which is you know four to five six hundred watts so tubers that's where we are on this one thank you very much for tuning in like rate subscribe and all that good stuff and i'll see you on the next one